Call this meeting of Ohio Kane Fiscal Court to order on this 28th day of January 2020. Uh, I want to thank the city of Centertown, the mayor, for uh, having us here. Uh, we're really thankful for that. And right now I'm going to ask uh, Ann Melton to lead us in a prayer and pledge to the flag. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this day. And we ask that you watch over our nation as we go through these troubling times. And be with these officials that have to make hard decisions for our family. May they always be in the best interest. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic which stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. We don't have a marriage. Oh, do we do marriage? Yeah. Yeah. Do they have? They've all been uploaded. Okay. You have yep. a copy of marriage? It's on that road. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you got one, you're in the office. No, no, no. They're in the office. They're like 40 pages long. You got it. Okay. If okay. you need okay. to see them, they're right there. Okay. Uh, before you have the uh, minutes of the okay. last meeting, uh, we need a motion to approve. Motion by Larry Morphew. Yeah. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. Is there any discussions, uh, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. The minutes are approved. Uh, before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, uh, no late list, right? No late list. So uh, I would uh, like to have motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Give me just a minute. Okay. We're open for questions on the bills and claims. No, no, that's my, my truck. I, I still need to see you, Ann. I, I can't. Yeah, I, I mean, I need a car. 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 No, at the time of year it is. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. The uh, bills, claims, payments, and transfers are approved. Let me see this a second. Bill, uh, I mean Bess, was supposed to have gotten her, her uh, copy of her uh, disbursements in. Uh, reconciliation statement, I mean. And we have it here in front of us. Hey, David, that's not it, 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 her amended budget. Her amended budget. So, so to, to acknowledge. Motion by Larry Camp. To acknowledge. Yes. Second. Awesome. Second by Joe Barnes. Any discussion? Being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed like sign. We'll ask each each one of you uh, if you've got anything here just in a minute. But I know I'm going to call on uh, Joe Barnes for a subject. We'll make a motion uh, to buy a Ohio County solid waste truck for under thirty thousand, and to have Ann Melton write the check. Ohio County solid waste is paying an average of between nineteen hundred to twenty four hundred a month to uh, pay back the county where they uh, rent it and it's, it's paid for itself so from reserves from from reserves would that be a big problem man to put that in an item line i'd like to see that because so much money is accumulating it is in a line item is it a, in a separate revolving 
No, I mean, it's just income to the general fund, but it is in a separate can we, line. Can we, so it is in a separate line, so you can see how much has been put towards it uh -huh. each, each time, right? Yes. But you're telling me the money that's this, this year is paying for the truck we bought? Well, the way I understand this is a two-year cycle, mm -hmm. and according to Charlie, it takes about two years to pay for it. So, <coughs> he, he's got the numbers. I think it's you know, close to the two years that should have paid for the last one. It'll be paid for in two years, correct? Yeah. This one we're buying now, right? Yeah, and the last the other one's already been paid for. Yeah, if, if it's not, it's close. I, I thought you said it was paid for too. Right? But I mean, you got to wear the shoulder, right? Or do we need it's it in a separate, separate line? You need a second on that, yeah. yeah. Second by Larry Morphew. Where does where is the uh, truck go now? Mm -hmm. This one will go, the, the okay, it goes down, it goes to Charlie will drive the new one. Uh -huh. The one he's driving now will go to Litter Abatement. The one that Litter Abatement now has goes to technically to the road department, but we're equipping it for the boat ramp tool. I mean, I mean, it'll be for general purpose there too, but it's going to have all the equipment put on it to clean up the boat. Uh, yeah. Uh, Larry, Larry and I are together. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's, 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 he's just about got it. Yeah. So it's just an ad. That way you don't have to take a load up a load or something to take care of. Was that the diagram you brought that down? Yeah. It it got, yeah. It's similar to that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's we, separate to that. Who seconded that motion? Say, well, Larry, Larry more for you. Larry, in that motion, would it be all right if we had to be a three-quarter ton truck? Sure. Uh, what size three-quarter ton, guys? What size three-quarter yeah. ton? 1,500, 25. No, three-quarter ton, 25. Well, I, and I'm, I'm not totally against that, Joe, but I, I just, for the savings of gas, the difference in a three-quarter ton, 1,500, and the difference in gas in a 2,500, one's about 10, 11 miles to go, and the other's about 18 or 19. Uh, not with the Dodges. I've had them both. <laughs> well, anyway, it's still... If I had an 09 half-ton yeah. Dodge Ram, four-door, and it, got about, it gets the same as what my three-quarter ton does on the, but on I, the road. But I do know that it just costs more to operate, and uh, uh, I think we all know with co service tax as it is, things are going to get a little tighter, and I was just looking at maybe a way more. Uh, if, the, if the need was there constantly, I would agree, but if the needs, and like at the road department, uh, we've got four guys, well, see, out there as well. Charlie's so, going to have this truck for yeah. a year. He's got that skid steer and that dump truck. Yeah. So if he's got a half ton, then potentially he'd be pulling out of the dump truck of skid steer when yeah. the solid waste will have the other. Yeah. He's uh, told me though that it's the, the fifteen hundred. Yeah. Yeah. The price is pretty much the same. It's just it's just all about gas. He basically said when I talked to him Larry, when he said is that you're talking between one hundred seventy five dollars a week of gas as a hundred dollars. He said it takes about seventy five dollars. Well, it'd be four or five thousand dollars a year. But it's four nine. It has so much more power. I'll put it this way: I drove one of the Dodges that the county's got half ton. Somerset not too long ago for uh, a uh, conference or uh, to a uh, training, and I ended up with sixteen seventeen. Yeah. I got a three quarter ton out there right now. When I clean it up, and get all the mud off of it, <laughs> I get sixteen seventeen. When I went to Florida, I got eighteen nine. So. Yeah. I don't, I don't agree with the yeah. fuel line. So, with I know mean, you can move the three quarter ton to any, any apartment you want, but you can do whatever the court wants to do. Yeah. But and a lot of it depends on how you drive it, too. Yeah. I mean, it's all about driving, start and stop, and little things. But it just, yes. but it, the fact is that it, it's going to use more gas, Joe. And, uh, but I'm not against it. I just want to make that <coughs> observation. If Charlie is right, it saves him, which he's going to be using it for a year. If he takes four five thousand dollars a year, that's four five thousand dollars a year out of his budget. Now he may be incorrect Joe, on his stats. I don't know. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. Which I would be for the bigger, because you've got so much more power and stuff when you need it. But it you know, depends on what you're doing with it. Well, that's true too. But there's no sense having it. I think it what it boils down to is the comfort of the ride for some people. Count. No. 
more for you? Yes. Small? Small? Okay. Sorry. Pull up. I don't care, like I said, either way, but I, I think that if Charlie, well, we would go by what Charlie wants, I guess, is funny, but I mean. Well, it's a solid place, bro. Yeah. And we're buying, we're not buying the car. But that's just going to be a problem. Because he'll drive here, huh? No, it will go through the solid place. Uh, he's going to drive, drive his, and, and solid waste to drive his three quarter turn that he's got now. Well, I mean, as far as buying a truck, I'm going to guess we're buying a truck. I mean, as far as I really think maybe we should let him pick the truck he wants. So, yes, we're buying a truck. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Okay. Was it four two? Yeah. Okay. We're talking about if the I next pull one. that out of the budget, it's twenty-three thousand dollars right now. If I pull it out and make it for something special, you've got to put twenty-three thousand dollars back in from somewhere. <coughs> See what I'm saying? So you're using that as income. And no one place you're using it as part of the big picture to make the general fund work. And the only place you're going to get is out of our reserves. Okay. Um, we actually passed that one. Let's see, Amy, I left Paul the badge you said I want to open it up to the community. Uh, Sam, you got anything tonight? No, I just want to thank the center town and the mayor for having us, bring us in and letting us occupy this space. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful city. And a uh, nice building. It is really nice. So I appreciate it, Mayor, and City of Art. Almost at City of Art, too good. Thank you. That's all I got to do. Jason. Sally, so appreciate you letting us be here. That's all I have to say. Okay, Joe. Uh, we don't have anything at this time. Okay, uh, since it's come down the road, the road, uh, I again want to thank uh, uh, Center Town for having us here and uh, and say again what a beautiful town. Uh, Y'all done so much to beautify this place and uh, and, uh, and that your city hall is wonderful too. Larry, you got anything? No, just to be in here and reiterate what you guys have said. We appreciate coming down and being here in the United States. Oh, I do have one thing. Uh, have you talked to that company that's working for the dollar store that tore up that first street up there, the Chip and Seal? No, but I, I have not this week, but I was under the impression they had fixed it. They grabbed it, but they, it was chip and seal. Oh, well, okay. We will get back with them this week. <coughs> Justin? No, I give the thanks to Centertown, too. Okay. <coughs> now, I'd like to open this up to anybody in Centertown that's got any concerns or our requests from uh, OIK Fiscal Court. I'm sorry. They, this meeting's adjourned. New one's open. Public hearing's open. We have several areas in town and some that are uh, abutting town that has trash and it looks like hurricanes gone through there. I know Charlie's helping us on the Mill Street area, but we have two uh, areas uh, in the city limits that are pretty trashy and the city is one piece. We already own one and there's a trailer over there that we hired somebody. Um, to uh, come in and clean it, but he, he only had new signs. <coughs> and then we 
have another area in the chamber, and uh, we're trying to get it out by if they're going to need it to the city, but there's all kinds of trash there. Is there any way we can get it help from the county, a dump truck, where we can put it all in the trunk, truck and get it out of here? Yes, we'll work on that. Charlie's going to see what he can do as far as, as, far as uh, requiring the uh, property owners to do it under this new ordinance. Mm -hmm. And what he can't, yes, we will definitely supply a truck for cleanup days. Uh, anybody else? Judge, I call it just for what it's worth. I call Ron Inkleman today just to check on our tractor that we've got over. And I think Ann didn't call over and that's making it back to the day. So just out of curiosity, I call. The tractor's there. Uh, the mower is expected in the middle of February, so that's kind of the time frame on the mower. Well, good. I was hoping it'd be before that, but okay. That's what he told me today. He said if it was any different, he would call me back. Okay, good deal. Good deal. Anybody else got anything? Yes, we're, we're, we're really thankful that y'all came down tonight and had your meeting down there. We sure appreciate that. That means a lot to all of us. Well, we enjoy it. You're, you're, you're uh, in Ohio County. I, I rarely have to tell that about Centertown. Uh, Beaver Dam, I have to remind people really often that, hey, yes, and for what's going on in Beaver Dam, it's in Ohio County. Uh, they make it look like we're carrying things off to there. It's been a few months since I've been down here, and I noticed we've got a new blacktop and a new dollar store, yeah, so yeah. I guess we're moving up. Yeah. yeah, they lost one of their businesses, but they've gained, yeah. gained the dollar, and it's uh, and you got your new water tank in line, right? Yes, 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 everything's good and fit. Got the water lines uh, up, water tanks up, and go. Uh, but uh, yeah, like it's 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 good, and uh, I come to Centertown pretty often, and and the mayor knows he can call me anytime he wants to. Appreciate it. Hey. Joe Joe at all. Yeah, yeah, I have an awful hard time getting him to cooperate with me on anything for Centertown. <laughs> Uh, I do appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, well, we appreciate all you've done for Centertown over the years <laughs> and for Ohio County. Dude. Um, does anybody else got anything? If not, we'll go back to our respective places. Two, two of you here is almost home, Jason and, and uh, Joe are almost home, but some of us got ways to travel. Talk about the uh, the future of the financing to the fire departments. Or the it's all in. There is a bo a committee that has been appointed, and they're working on that. Uh, I'm expecting some sort of report from them in February court meeting. February the tenth, isn't it? Is that the court meeting? I believe it is. It's on that committee. Charlie and Bo or two of them and the fire chief of Beaver Dam and uh, they're the heading up and then every fire chief in the county is on but them three are the, head, are the ones that arrange the meetings and all that and uh, we'll be making a uh, report to the court then with 11th. 11th I'm sorry but the answer your question uh at utility managers meeting today, I brought it up and told them that, you know, co-severance money anyway is going down. And with the recent developments can make it even happen quicker. There will not be money in co-severance money to fund the fire department. So that's where it came from. It's just not there. But we want to take care of the fire department, so we're looking at alternative ways of financing that. Uh, several different ways. One of the one way would be to come up with a universal fire dues for the entire county and put it on on tax bills, and then let the firefighter associations figure out how to put it to each department, which would come up with it could come up with as much as you get now. 
That'd be one way. Then there's other ways you're looking at too. Uh, other can we're not the only county that's facing this. They're facing all of the state. Every coal county in the in the state is looking at these same things. Uh, we're also looking at uh, 911 fees, a uh, different way of collecting them, and uh, and and other things in our. Uh, trying to get the General Assembly to step up and give us our CRA money that they should. Uh, and basically what we're saying is that's our county road aid. And we get that from the percentage of the gas tax money. And they lowered the gas tax a few years ago, meaning that our revenue from the gas tax went down tremendously. So we're out trying to get them to put that back in. That'd be another one. Uh, the sh sheriff's office needs to, is uh, challenged him to go to the agencies he checked, collect taxes for, and get them to pay what the law say they should pay. The largest uh, tax recipient in this county only pays half the uh, fee for collection taxes that everybody else does. So, th so we're looking at that. And we're looking at a lot of different ways, not, not as a term of raising taxes, but as a way of, uh, of uh, leveling it out and getting the pay for where it's to come from. Judges in the state trying to pass a bill to take care of 911? It's not on the agenda for this year. So they're throwing it up back to us. In other counties are addressing all It was in Saturday's paper that it was. Yeah, I don't think there's anything materialized. I know several counties around us have done alternative. And basically what it does, the landline fees went down, 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 down because fewer people have them. So they're looking at putting the same, not to have a different tax, but put it on a different way of collecting it. We've looked at uh, different ways of doing that. Instead of the phone bills, put it somewhere else. Can they give up putting on cell phones? Um, cell phone. There is a nine one fee on cell phones, but the state state gets it for their uh, dispatch centers for state police and things like that. Uh, we, uh, as a court, are we allowed to put uh, an additional tax on cell phones? I don't for the purpose of uh, income. I don't. Revenue. I don't think so. I think what is going to be presented in court, probably, that's something we talk about, is probably going to have to be put on the water bill because everybody has a water bill and collected that way. And that would raise the money that that the uh, uh, it did on the landline several years ago. See, for years they've been talking at these conferences, Larry, that they're going to put it on cell phones. So I don't know if they were just going to put it on the water bill. Saturday, like gonna, I don't know if they're just going to minister a higher rate or... Yeah. There's one on there, but we don't get any of it. They've been talking about it for years, but they've never done it. I, mean, I wouldn't want to... We've got, currently got ours at, what, 284, 286 on, the, on landline, and I think that's plenty. But well, that don't we just pay about, it. what, a dollar, a dollar on a cell phone? That's the state. A dollar on a cell phone. Which everybody has cell phones now instead of the back of the Everybody has. Yeah. Uh, we think there's more cell phones than our water bills. <laughs> you think? I mean, so that would be, you know, we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, put them away, but Sam had two. Well, you're, you're saying that everybody had water bills, and now yeah. there's cell phones. Yeah, but a lot of older people have cell phones. Yeah, that's right. I got a cop, cell phones. You don't have more money that way. If you've got a few kids, you've got cell phones. You've got cell phones. You've got cell phones. Well, like we have. A lot of them, the problem they were having is a lot of them are uh, paid by the month and there's no way to collect that. Oh, yeah. Well, if you didn't pay it, you got to save the money. Yeah. Yeah. You really can. I, I did that for a bunch of years because I actually called them on the page to pay, the go stuff. And I said, so you mean that this is like $8 that goes on every little cell phone bill? Because at the time it was like you pay $29.99, but it ended up being like 36 I said, so if I go to pay as you go, I don't have to pay any of these taxes. She's like, yeah, I'm going to stick something, yeah. I'm, I'm saving, I'm saving money. So, yeah, that was the only way to go at the time. 
Yeah, well, I can appreciate it. We will uh, see everybody at the next uh, court meeting. We'll talk about it.